Hi, I'm Jody Hanley, Product Marketing Manager of Grape City Developer Solutions. I'm happy to announce Widgmo's first major release of 2018, which brings some big changes designed to provide a better experience for you. First up, Widgmo has a new licensing model effective immediately. All new licenses of Widgmo will include perpetual distribution licenses. So when you deploy Widgmo's 2018 V1 controls, you'll see a licensing pop-up requesting a distribution key. Implementing a key is easy. Log in, go to the My Licenses section of the website, enter your domains, generate the key, and then add the key to your app. You can watch our full video on adding the key at grapecity.com. All licenses are perpetual, so you'll never have to renew the distribution. And if you need OEM or SaaS licenses, you can contact sales. In addition, because of the licensing change, we're no longer releasing separate evaluation and production versions of Wichmo. We now have a single edition that runs in two modes, so you no longer have to replace Wichmo files when going to production. This new licensing model has allowed us to publish Wichmo controls on NPM. All our samples will still be available through the download on the website. Check the release blog online for details on how to get Wichmo controls on NPM. All new versions of Wichmo will be published to a new CDN that supports HTTPS, making it easier for you to host your app on HTTPS and use Wichmo on sites like JFiddle, CodePen, and JSBin. You'll need to add new URLs for your references, so check the release blog for details. We also have a new tab panel control that allows you to embed controls in different views in your app. The tabs require no bootstrap dependencies, and they're built to refresh automatically when you click them. You can embed any Wichmo control in a tab, and you can customize the look and functionality of the tab control. If you use Wichmo OLAP, you'll be glad to know we've added a direct connection to Microsoft SAS cubes, so you can bind your pivot table or chart directly to the cube. Be sure to check out the blog to learn how to set up Wichmo OLAP and SAS cubes. In addition, the Wichmo JavaScript report viewer now supports active reports in addition to Component 1 Flex reports. FlexSheet now supports Excel style tables. We've added React Child component support for controls with complex properties. And we're continuing our commitment to accessibility by adding ARIA standard enhancements to FlexGrid, AutoComplete, ComboBox, and FlexGrid filter dialog. You'll find much more in the change log, so be sure to head to grapecity.com to get all the details and download Widgmo's latest version. I'll see you again in July when we'll release Widgmo 2018 V2.